Good evening. There's some breaking news coming out of War News 247. First, um, we're going to share the good news, the gospel. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, he washes your sins clean. Past, present, future. That does not give you a green light to sin. We don't want to. We've repented. Right now, Titus 2, verse 13, we are looking for that blessed hope of the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. We have repented to change your mind. Don't put your faith and trust in any of these politicians because I got news for you. When the bombs drop, they're going to save themselves. They don't give a flippity flu about us. None of them do. Wherever you're listening in the world, none of them do. Jesus sacrificed himself for us. That's who we put our faith and trust in, not those schmoes. Our Heavenly Father, our Savior. That's who we put our faith and trust in. All hell is about to break loose in this world. And we will get raptured right before it happens. We could go home any second. Family, we're going home. Whatever you're going through, I may not understand completely what you're going through, but I understand what it's like to struggle. Sometimes we don't understand why things happen the way they do. But our Heavenly Father loves us, and He gets us through. And remember, Satan isn't going to focus too much on the ones he already has. He's going after the ones that are deemed a threat. So if you're going through struggles, where does a badge of honor? Because you know the Holy Spirit will get you through, and you know that means you're a threat. You're a threat to Satan. And we're about to go home soon, and we're going to all meet at the marriage supper. Do you guys ever wonder what food's going to be at the marriage supper? Um, it's going to be awesome. If you haven't accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, do it right here, right now. Because one day, extremely soon, Christians are going to vanish. The world will say either it's alien abduction, chemical attack. Families are going to lose family members, children. They're going to vanish. And we know it's Jesus returning to take us home. Just like in the days of Noah, I know there's been a lot more people coming out against the preacher of rapture. Wherever you stand in the rapture, it's important to put on the full armor of God because the Lord will get you through. But the Bible says like in the days of Noah. Well, like in the days of Noah, Noah and his family escaped God's wrath. They didn't go through the flood, but were protected. Revelation 3 verse 10 is the clearest indicator of it. How do we return with the Lord if we're here? We don't meet the Lord in the air, grab a horse, and come back down when's the marriage supper. But wherever you stand on the rapture, it's important to pray, keep planting seeds. Don't let go of the Lord's hand. I promise you'll get you through. I know life's tough, and it's getting tougher. The interest rate on my credit card, $35. You know, it's at the point where I just I, I can't afford to pay it anymore, and I'm not going to pay. I, I'm not going to pay it. I can't. You know, I can't. You know, I had like $20 to decide to get Jasmine her dog food. And I'm like, okay, $20 that I can use my credit card. That means it's only 30. I got to get up. because She's on that Katie science diet for her kidneys. And then I'm looking at my credit card and there's nothing on it. And I'm like, what the heck? $35. So I'm like, you know what? Can't give what I don't have, you know, but as bad as it is now, it's just going to get worse. And worse. Interest rates are going to keep going up and up. Food's going to keep going up and up. Gas is going to keep going up and up. You don't want to be here for what's going to happen in this world. You know what they're doing? They are making everybody financially destitute. To bring in the Great Reset. They, they already know who's going to head it. The Antichrist is... He's waiting in the wing. As soon as the church is gone... He appears. We will not know who he is. We can guess, but we not really don't care. And then they're going to say, hey, guess what? You'll owe nothing and love it. And people that aren't familiar with the Bible, what that's really about, they're going to fall for it, hook, line, and sinker. That's what they're doing. So, whatever you're going through, you're not going to, I promise you, I, I don't know the day of the hour, nobody does. But we're so, we can feel it. Don't, can't y'all feel it? I promise you, you're not going to be going through much longer. Hang in there because we're all meeting at the marriage supper. And remember, if you're going through struggles, 
Where does a badge of honor know that the Holy Spirit will get you through? And that means that you're a threat. War News 247, um, you have to translate this. I don't have a computer, but on my Android phone, I hit those three dots in the top right of the screen and just go into translate. U.S. officials, we've canceled Israel's fifth attack on Iran. Netanyahu wants to drag us into a major regional conflict. Fears that Netanyahu has a hidden agenda and is out of control. U.S. and Netanyahu relations are at an extremely critical point. A fact that may negatively affect Israel's next military move. So on the U.S. side, fears are expressed about a quote-unquote hidden agenda of Netanyahu, who seems to be quote-unquote out of control. I have my own opinion on that, but I'm going to leave it to myself. And they say this because Israel did not inform the U.S. even about the attack on the Iranian embassy in Damascus. According to U.S. sources, Netanyahu would ideally like to destroy Iran's nuclear facilities while well, I mean, they're, they're trying to protect themselves, you know. Sorry, that's my noisy bed. They're trying to protect themselves. They're not going to sit and wait to be nuked. I mean, it's not going to happen. It's Israel's the apple of God's eye, and you don't mess with the apple of God's eye. According to U.S. sources, Netanyahu would ideally like to destroy Iran's nuclear facilities, which he has long considered an essential threat to Israel. It is. Besides, U.S. administration officials are well aware that Netanyahu is motivated to continue the hostilities as it prevents the collapse of his coalition and new elections. Quote, Israel wants to drag us into a regional war, end quote. American officials are now revealing shocking details of the conversation between the two presidents. Well, one of them's fake and, and his name, the initials are J.B., are now openly expressing fears that Israel is trying to drag the U.S. into a general war in the region. According to U.S. sources, fake President Joe Biden and his team canceled the Israeli attack on Iran literally at the last minute, but they're not sure that can happen again. According to a report in the New York Times, the Israelis were ready to respond at dawn to Iran's strike, but fake President Joe Biden was alerted and called Netanyahu. The U.S. president convinced him not to make the strike so early, not to rush, as a result of the Iranian attack, was zero. Only minor material damage was done. And Israel essentially came out victorious. For these reasons, he said it would be better for Israel to wait. The fake president of the United States, that's what I call him, also told the Israeli prime minister that, quote, Israel has demonstrated an, an admirable ability to confront and overcome even the most unexpected attacks by sending a clear message to its enemies that they cannot effectively threaten Israel's security, end quote. Now, I just saw an article, and if I could find it, I'll leave the link in the description box. And um, If I forget, I'm, I'm sorry, my memory's horrible right now, but um, that said that they made a vote. Oh, I think Watchwoman actually did a video on it earlier, um, that they've already decided to retaliate. So, I mean, I don't know. We're getting conflicting stories, so I guess time will tell. According to U.S. and Israeli sources, senior U.S. defense and security officials have made it clear to the Israeli government that while the United States believes that Israel has the quote-unquote freedom of action to defend itself, the U.S. will have no involvement in any military action or response against Iran. Biden stressed to Netanyahu that the U.S. would not participate in any aggressive operation against Iran. The fake U.S. president told Israel, that's what I call him, I, I, I can't say his name without calling him fake, I just can't. The fake U.S. president told Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu in their phone call on Saturday that he must think carefully and strategically about the risk of regional escalation as a result of Israel retaliation to the Iranian attack, end quote. This was admitted a while ago by Dr. Jaquiz, uh, how is N-E-R-I-A, Niera? from the think tank Jerusalem Center, who emphasized that, quote, the U.S. does not want to be surprised again, end quote. They fear an Israeli backlash that could drag the U.S. into a regional war. And they got videos here, and they got um, X tweets. So. NBC, Biden is worried. According to NBC, some high-ranking U.S. officials have already expressed their concern that Israel might do something quickly to respond to Iran without thinking about the possible consequences that would follow. In my opinion, now I could be wrong, 
um, especially now because I'm extremely tired. I've slept like a couple of hours in two days. So if you could keep me in your prayers for that. But um, I think Israel is going to retaliate. So, and, you know, they have every right to defend themselves. So. According to the same source, citing three people with knowledge of the U.S. president's comments, Joe Biden, fake president, has already expressed in private discussions his concern that Israel's prime minister is trying to drag the U.S. into a wider conflict. The White House believes, according to one of the officials cited by NBC, that the Israelis are not seeking a wider conflict or a direct war with Iran, but American officials are not 100% sure of that. They're just wanting to defend themselves, and they have every right to. Israel will respond to Iran. Israel will, there, there you get, there you go, there you go. Israel will respond to Iran's attack, but no final decisions have been made on the size or timing of the response. I knew they would. An Israeli official told NBC News amid reports of final decisions within the next 24 hours. So these next 24 hours are going to be critical. Keep looking up, family. The official spoke, the official spoke after Israel's war cabinet concluded its several hour meeting. Quote, it is clear that Israel will respond. The question is when and on what scale, the official said, without giving further details. So according to multiple Jewish media reports, War Ministry Benny uh, Gnatz, G-A-E-N-T-S-Z, and his National Unity Party colleagues, Gandhi, oh, these names, Eisenkot, an observer at the War Council, both proposed attacking Iran even as the Iranian offense was underway yesterday or evening, the Time of Israel reported. The proposal was strongly opposed by Defense Minister Yohav Galad, IDF Chief um, Harji Halevi, and others. <clears throat> the Channel 12 News report excuse me, said, in part because of the burden of taking simultaneous action when Israel's air force was focused on intercepting of incoming Iranian missiles and drones. In an unsourced report, Channel 12 maintains that the U.S. did not seek to veto any Israeli response, but that it told Israel it should know in advance and coordinate for any such response. The U.S. has made it clear publicly that it will not participate in any Israeli response. And, I mean, they're, they're going to... They have every right to defend themselves, you know, because common sense... So, I mean, it's common sense that if they'd stop being attacked and people just leave them alone, there'd be peace out there. But we know the Bible says there will never be peace in this out there or in this world till Jesus returns after the tribulation. But before all hell breaks loose, we will be raptured. Oh, we can go home anytime. Channel 12 also claims that Israel is trying to ascertain whether in exchange for restraint, it can achieve some kind of strategic pact with the U.S. against Iran without having to make commitments on issues such as a Palestinian issue. So um, I'm going to keep my eye on this. If there is any th more breaking news, I'll be back on. Um, I'm not going to drive tonight because I'm too tired. My mother took <laughs> I'm 55 years old, guys. My mother took my keys from me because I was going to try to deliver because I haven't worked in two days because um, I haven't been able to sleep in the last two days. But um she goes, oh, no, you're not. She grabbed the keys from me. I'm like, I'm 55 years old. I don't care. So, um, yeah, if there's any more breaking news, I will be back on. So hang in there. Time's short, I promise you. We don't know the day or the hour, but we know we're in the season. We're just waiting to hear the trumpet. You know, my daughter um, lives near a, tra um, a train station. I uh, lives near the railroad, you know, and... um Every now and then I'll hear the railroad, you know, the sound of, you know, the, uh, the railroad. And I'll go, oh my gosh, is this it? Oh, I'm still here. I'm still here. Oh, okay, okay, that's the railroad. Okay, that's the train. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been left behind. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, I'm not going to be left behind. And you're not going to be left behind. You know why? Because we've repented and we believe. We belong to Jesus. We're going to see him soon, guys. And I know we're all praying it's this year. Just, are y'all just like mentally and physically drained with everything? Maybe things that you used to like, like maybe bowling or softball or going to the movies doesn't interest you anymore. Even food, well, most of the food's fake. Have y'all seen that? I'm not saying for censorship reasons, I'm not saying that this happens. I'm not saying that this happens, but it's like 
you wonder if food is really food anymore, if you know what I mean. Um, I've been seeing this video circulate online. The Nestle drumsticks, how, like, if you keep them out all night, they don't melt. Don't quote me on that. Say, well, Sister in Christ said they wouldn't melt it. They melted. Don't quote me on that. It's just, <laughs> not that y'all would, but it's just a video I saw. I haven't tested it yet. But, um, it, but it's like nothing even interests me with food anymore. You know, it's like you're hungry, but there's nothing out there. You really, you know, just, just life, just life's getting more and more stressful, you know? And we gotta we gotta pray for the Jewish people, and Israel. We gotta pray for everybody in that part of the world, all the innocent families and you know women and children that just want to live in peace. You know, I mean war is horrible on both sides. I pray for all the uh, all all the civilians on both sides that just want to live in peace. You know, because we have these horrible world leaders. You know, just uh, but remember, they want the Great Reset. By 2030 or sooner. We know what that is. And I, I don't want to say it because then they'll label my video conspiracy theory. And I don't want them to do that. But we know what that means. In order for them to do that, the whole world has to be in agreement. We don't know everything that's going on behind the scenes. Could all these world leaders and all the countries be in cahoots and all this is just planned? You know, it's just I'm not saying that that's what's happening. I'm just throwing that out there. Um... Keep looking up. Listen. I promise you guys, time short. We don't know when. I'm praying it soon. I'm just, I'm, I'm just so done with this world. I'm just ready to go home. I mean, it's, it's not the same world we all grew up in. Those of us that are Gen X, you know, that grew up in the '70s and '80s. Heck, it's not even the same world my daughter grew up in. It's just. It's a sick, twisted, demonic world. But every day we're here, we got to plant seeds. we got to share the gospel. This world is really lost. And there's a lot of people out there that probably have never heard the gospel of the love of Jesus Christ and the sacrifice he made for us. You know, and that we're never truly alone. We always have Jesus. We always have our Heavenly Father. So I'll leave the link in the description box. And if there's any more breaking news, I'll be back on. I can't wait to meet you guys, and I will talk to you soon. God bless.